Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video showing you how to make the ultimate vendor and more or less the ultimate vendor spot because I think the location really helps with this and a couple other tricks that I'm gonna show you in the video, so let's get into it. So when you're done, you should have something like this, hopefully, like this isn't anything special, you know, I'm just <laughs> did this very quickly. But the reason that this is the ultimate vendor is because it is beside White Springs Station. And if you want to like be a type of vendor or just make caps, you know, more recently or sorry, more um, frequently, I guess I should say, then you should build a camp near White Springs Station. And as you can see here, I'm trying to get it as close as I can. And this is what you want to do as well. And the reason you want to do this is because it's probably the most popular train station. And there's going to be tons of traffic coming through here. And if you build this like how I built it here, people are just going to come over to your camp, like no matter what. And once you start building it and you get it as close as you can to White Springs train station as you can, you can see I got it pretty close here. You can start to build something. Um, I had to build it up a little bit just because of the rocks. I wanted people, you know, to have a convenient way of walking up to my vendors. And like I said, people will just come over to this because they're already over here. So you will get twice as many people coming to your vendor as you would at a normal spot, in my opinion. And that's what really makes this the ultimate vendor spot. Definitely have some open signs there as well if you can like I'm showing here some of this stuff you may not have access to but I'm sure you can work towards it like the ammo machine there as well I'm going to mention that a little bit later but when you're done you just want to have like convenient stuff here for people like junk for people to grab um, a symptomatic I even put in the the rad station here that gets rid of your rads so people can go in this way or they can go in the other way if they're a bloodied build and don't want to lose their rads you just stuff that's going to be convenient for people like i put a wood pile here for people to grab wood a coffee machine a nuka cola candy machine just everything i could think of that people would you know maybe want to use while they're here the derby machine is definitely a good one for people that want to keep their xp levels a little bit higher um i even put in um, a nuka cola machine here as well um of course you want a stash box an ammo box and a junk box more so the stash and ammo box because at the train station you already have a stash box so it's not really a necessity um i put a weapon or sorry um a weight bench here too so people could get a little bit of extra strength a guitar there if people want to play guitar you know people will be coming up someone might be playing guitar it just sets a good atmosphere and draws people in you know what i mean definitely leave out some purified water for people if you don't have the water cooler plan which a lot of people don't um just maybe put some at the back here where i put like veggies for people to grab as well i put a tree that actually you can get oil from um i put in the rad stag thing here so people could get meat if they want it's just about convenience and that really resonates with people when they see all this type of things they just know that you're considerate and they really appreciate it and they might buy more just because of it um also put in a barbecue or a cooking station um, a power armor station and a, a weapons workbench there as well just in case people want to work on weapons again there is a tinker tom's workbench at the train station already so it wasn't really a must that you put that in there and like i said there's a stash box here there's the tinker's workbench and you know just people will be coming here to drop stuff off at the vendor they will check out your vendor i guarantee it like 50 percent more i guarantee you will get more traffic and yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. Just getting it close. And it's nice, too, if you even want to use this as a camp because then you got the legendary exchange right beside your camp as well. If you don't want to just dedicate it to being um, a store like I have here, maybe just have your camp here and your vendors outside. And I was going to say, too, an ammo... Um, convert or not an ammo converter but an ammo machine you can get this from crater when you have max reputation definitely a good thing to leave for people that can just grab ammo especially low levels will be able to take advantage of that and like i said it's about the location like i'm showing right here so when people fast travel to white springs this is what they're going to see or white spring train station i should say um, this is what they're going to see. They're going to be like, oh, what's this? This isn't usually here. And if the vendors are right there like I have it, I guarantee you you're going to get so much more traffic. And that's pretty much it, everybody. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I promise you, you will be making more caps if you do this. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great day.